Hi children, welcome back to computer class. Last class we have learned about hardware. So what is a hardware? Hardware is a part of a computer that we can touch and feel. So today we are going to learn about software. So what is a software? In a human body we can see and touch our different parts but what keeps us alive is breathing. If we breathe only we will be alive and similarly software keep us alive or software keep a computer alive it's just an empty box without software programs in it a computer will be an empty box if there is no software so a software is a set of one or more programs that work together to perform a task so without a software a computer doesn't work software uh, keeps the computer alive software is a set of program that work together to perform some task in computer so there are two types of software that is uh, system software and application software first one is system software what is a system software it runs the computer hardware and the system that means it connects the computer hardware to the application software uh, the system software connects the hardware and the computer system so uh, the example of a system software is windows operating system so operating system is an example of system software without system software computer will not work so it act it help us to helps the computer to connect between the hardware and the application software next is application software application software help user to do certain task uh, to do some task in a computer we have to we have we must have the different kinds of application software some examples of application software is for uh, if we want to type something in a computer we must need a ms word software and if we want to draw something in a computer we must need a ms paint or tux paint software so these are examples of application software so system software helps the computer helps to connect between the computer hardware and application software and application software help the user to do certain task that's all about softwares and next we are going to learn about the uses of computer you all are familiar with the different uses of computer let us have a look at uh, some of the uses first one we can draw and color picture on a computer the computer can be used to draw and picture draw and color uh, the picture second one is we can do homework researches for our projects we can do any homework or we can uh, do any researches by using our computer and next we can watch movies on our computer or we can talk to people far away from us now uh, what's happening in the online class and next is we can play game by using a computer and also we can listen to music and watch tv next is we can shop online by using a computer next we can type email and also we can solve the sums by using computer so these are some of the uses of a computer next we are going to learn where which are the places that computers are commonly used you all know where are computers used uh, here we use computer in our schools for what for teaching and also for learning so we use computers in our school and uh, computers are used in hospitals for the doctors to maintain their patients record the doctors have to keep a record of their patients so it will be done by using a computer next computers are used in banks to deposit and withdraw money next is computers are used in offices to do office works and airports and railway station to book tickets and also to track planes and trains next computer is used in a lab for scientific research or for scientists to do some research works and these are the uh, places where we use our computer and you have a homework that is complete the exercise in your textbook itself and also you have to write and study the spellings in your rough book so we have come to the end of our chapter one in this chapter we have learned the parts and uses of a computer first we have learned about what is a hardware and next we have learned about software and also we have learned the different uses of a computer and also the place where we the places that we use computer 
Hope you all understood the lesson. Let us meet in the interactive session. Thank you.